Well, we may not be able to travel right now, but we still can see the world from the comfort of our own couches. And joining us this morning to tell us how is Paige Boma from RV Trader. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Jen. How are you? I'm doing great. So how are you encouraging people to do this? Well, at RV Trader, we kind of came up with a list of places that people could go, as you said, from their couch so that they can do some virtual traveling because we are all probably getting a little bit stir crazy and ready to, to get out and to do some do some traveling again. So came up with a pretty good um, list of things that you can do real family oriented. So some of the ones that I have been doing with my family, I've got two young boys. We've been having a great time getting out of the country for right now. We're not going to travel on a plane. So um, we went to the Louvre. That was one of our favorites. And since we're also doing kind of our own homeschooling from the house, I wanted to make it pretty educational. So we were able to do a full virtual tour of the Louvre. And through that, I also gave them like four little um, pieces of art to look for, little, um, and including the Mona Lisa. And so they went through the entire Louvre and looked for all the art. And we had kind of a fun little scavenger hunt. That was one of the places. Another um, on our list that was really fun, still kind of staying out of the country there, was we went to the Wall of China. And my son's first thing he said, and it was virtual again, like we're doing all of it on your on your um, computer or on your phone or on your iPad. And we were able to really walk the um, the whole actual um, wall of China. So it was really neat and kind of kind of fun and different. So Paige, how are you doing do. this? Because is there like a site you can go to for these virtual tours or do you just Google Great Wall of China and there you go? So we actually um, created a full list and it's on RV Trader under our blog that people could go and they could find it there. But you could go and you could Google them. We really, though, spent the time finding all the places that would be fun and the ones that were really, you know, kind of kind of cool to go to. There's a lot of fun local ones, too. So um, the one that we thought was also great was we went to the Smithsonian. So you know, that's kind of close to all of our hearts. So I went into the Smithsonian that had like VR, you could put your headphones in. For that one, I actually coupled it with watching the movie, The Night at the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian with oh, the kids, that's just fun. to again, make it make it more fun. Now you can do but zoos can, and aquariums too, right? Yes, I have loved the zoos. Um, one of the ones that was really great was also the Atlanta Zoo. And at the Atlanta Zoo, they had a panda cam. So we've been able to actually continue to go back and check on the panda to see how he's doing, what's he doing today. So you could also do safaris. There's just tons of different things that you could do as you're also starting to plan. What am I gonna do when when this lockdown does you know, open up and we can get out again? So it was neat to be able to talk about now what's next for us. Where can we plan our next vacation? So not only are we having fun, but we're also starting to talk about where we're going to go next. All right, Paige, give us your site one more time. It's RV Trader. Uh, RV Trader, is it that dot com then? Our, yep, RVTrader.com and you can go and check it out and look for an RV for, you know, some safe, fun travel when, uh, when everything opens back up. All right, sounds great. Paige, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Jen. Have a good day. You too.